Okay, hello, hello everybody, one more time. Well, one more time. Now I said that I, uh, I was planning not necessarily to release, but to, to you know, record uh, a few videos. Depends, you know, how long it will take to explain. Right, uh, for the beginners, it is aimed mostly for the beginners to understand slightly better, right, to have more information and knowledge how to build and uh, the different tricks i don't know all of them i mean i'm not um, myself i'm not playing at a pro level by any means uh, right right so in each of the city to have uh, the exact number of uh, population and the workers i mean literally to the you know mathematical numbers no i'm playing uh, you know i i love this game and uh, i was reading myself uh, well uh, quite a lot of uh, you know topics and information regarding this game so yeah I, I have some knowledge but again not not a pro level so i will try my best uh, since i have quite a few uh, questions a few more questions uh, lately asking me different things uh, related to the game so yeah planning to release this uh, mini series let's see how many videos it will take Right to explain some tips, uh, tricks, uh, you know how to build. Better explaining some stuff again to my own knowledge. So yeah, first of all, uh, I will show some useful links. I will also display them in uh, in the description below. Very very good. So bear with me a little bit. So let's go back to the desktop. We have here Caesar three. So. Uh, right, we have here uh, a very good one, a very important one. It's good to read. Walker behavior found in Heaven Games. Still a very old site, but with very good uh, information about not only this game but all the other games, uh, strategy games, city builders, and so on. You want to check this out. So for uh, our game for Caesar, uh, yeah, wrote by Caesar Allen. So Walker behavior. In which he said uh, he had a full interval list, uh, lists the long and the short patrol lengths for all the random walkers found in the game so he said that according to his uh, uh, testing the shortest patrol is 26 tiles so meaning uh, you know uh, uh, an engineer for example spawning from the engineer's post will travel 26 tiles uh, in a short patrol 35 in a long one and then return back to the shortest uh, way possible if it's a straight line it will return back uh, on the same path if it's in a uh, in a loop then uh, this is the not necessarily tricky part but uh, you know things to consider when you build the blocks but read read not only his because here Bruegel had uh, slightly well slightly different observations Nice work. Uh, the, most, the most important workers for housing block design are typically market traders, especially for good using houses, because houses that use them stock only a two month supply of furniture, oil and usually wine. Since the interval between walks is more than a month in a good sized housing block to guarantee stability, a market trader must pass by all houses on every walk so on every walk keep in mind this also to guarantee stability a good must never run out of uh, run out in all uh, in all the markets but that's another issue so even if a random walker returned to its spawning point a 52 tile road loop so a loop uh, means you know like a circle or uh, like a rectangle right uh, loop is too long to guarantee again that random walkers will go around the loop each time since after 26 tiles the distance back to the starting point is the same in both directions so he might uh, you know uh, complete the loop uh, right so he will choose to 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 complete the loop and uh, travel all the distance or might go back in which case half of the loop will not get covered it's very important 
Uh, all right, so, and since the starting and ending points of the walker are often not the same, in a 50 tile loop random, walkers may return the way they came, as I've seen, so may, not guaranteed, right? Because if you want uh, to have guarantee that uh, your block is stable, you must take these things into account. I know it's a slightly long talk, you can read more here, but again, when you design your blocks, keep this in mind, especially when you play, uh, you know, higher difficulty levels, then yeah, this, uh, these things, all these things come into play more often than in very easy or let's say standard, right? Okay, so uh, he says that 50 tile loop may return. I discussed it and it appears to me that most is, uh, behave the same. Uh, even a 48 tile road loop could be too long so still not guaranteed right although i don't recall ever checking that size or i'd expect non-school random walkers to always circle a 46 tile or smaller loop but i wouldn't be too, too surprised if an exception was found so yeah so things to consider right i mean 46 is like let's say like a minimum uh, if not 100%, like 99 point something percent that that block will become stable in and uh, well, it is stable and in some exceptional uh, cases might, uh, you know, lose some stability, but it will go back and we will see. So that's the first link that uh, I, I say to the, you know, newcomers, beginners to the game, read it because you will understand better, right, the mechanics of the game. Uh, after this game, uh, it was released Pharaoh, right, Caesar, and, uh, well, after Caesar, Pharaoh and Cleopatra, and Bruegel, uh, yeah, well, he did the, the test for Pharaoh, and uh, he, he saw it, that it's the same pattern. Uh, Pharaoh, for, for Pharaoh, it's the same, it's based on the same engine, but with some tweaks, some important tweaks to make, uh, uh, let's say, the game, not necessarily more efficiently, right, but not that random. And uh, I will give you here one example. Uh, in uh, in markets, in mar it, it's a very important one. Though in markets in Caesar three, uh, market ladies will go for all uh, the goods available, right? I mean, if they can have and they cannot store like pretty much everything, right? Uh, you cannot assign in Caesar three uh, market ladies not to take one of the goods. You can uh, deny them taking that one by for example setting that one to stockpile not using but then if you forget uh, uh, you know to uh, again allow trading and using that good and if some houses need that good then uh, they will devolve because being stockpiled they will not have uh, have access to that one you will understand it i will explain more uh, again to my best knowledge when i will play a little bit and uh, we'll show uh, some of these things. So yeah, well, in Faro it was introduced, uh, you know, this uh, feature. In uh, in markets you can uh, you can go for some goods, uh, you can skip other goods. So for example, uh, if you have four markets, you can put to, to one market uh, to take only two goods, another market to take the other two goods, you know, etc. So uh, not like in Caesar, it's random, right? When uh, if a good is running out of uh, stock, right, the market ladies will go and take that one. And if it's overfilled with one good, it doesn't have room for another one. Uh, you, you will see. Anyway, this is the first one. Uh, the second one that uh, I'm telling you to uh, go and uh, read about it or know about it, because it will help you, right, to know how many houses uh, to design. It's housing levels with required service. So when, and I will show it again, when you start the game, you build a small tent, people will start to move in. You don't need anything for this one. To evolve, though, if you give them uh, water from a well, they will evolve to large tent, right? Then when you will uh, supply them with one food type, they will evolve to small shack. So as long as one house requires something to evolve, into a higher state if you deliver that good it will evolve if you don't then it will stay to that uh, level you know until it will get that uh, good uh, food or good whatever or service required and here uh, you see a small tent it's one uh, it's one size it's one by one right 
uh, population it can fit five population in it so if you build four small tents then a total of 20 population you got the idea uh, tax multiplier is very low because it's it's pretty ugly looking uh, and uh, that's why the aim right is to build uh, higher uh, level housing because also also ta uh, taxing right the the city then will be more efficient obviously you will get more money from uh, taxing for example large villas grand uh, not not uh, from from insula excuse me uh, medium insula right a large insula then grand insula it's even more you see multiplier of four and uh, also the higher the level uh, it can fit more and more population in it so uh, it's a good one and i will give you another example if you have to build a city with uh, let's say a hundred people right and uh, the maximum level of housing that you can play it's uh, i'm giving an example here it's a uh, grand insulate right so uh, for grand insulate uh, it's supposed that you have uh, two types of food available you can uh, you know deliver all the goods whatever they need furniture pottery oil uh, up to that level right and we we find out here a grand insula can fit maximum of 84 population so you will need one and something extra right or uh, you will build either two grand insulates to have two grand insulates so a total of 168 population or one grand insulates and then some small tents uh, 15 or 20 yeah four 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 small tents that is 20 with 84 that's 104 and you win the mission it's just an example so it will help you right we have the calculator here so yeah if we have to, if you have to build uh right a city with 2500 population you divide by 84 and you will find out how many grand insulate or large insulate because both of them right can fit 84 so 29 that's 30 right so you have to build 30 you know so you design your block to be able to fit those 30 uh, large or grand insulin that will get you to the target of 2.5 thousand population and uh, yeah use also the calculator uh, for other stuff you will see I, I, I like to use it mostly for farms I mean for, for food to see how many farms I need and so on uh, okay so this is the second one the third one the third one here we have uh, the hotkeys because also i was asked about these hotkeys so with p you pause the game uh, in a us keyboard uh, us layout keyboard yeah the p uh, it's pause and pause the game then next uh, to the p to the right of the p so basically between the p and the enter you have those straight accolades you reduce the game speed increase game speed I'm not using all of them whoever wants so I'm using some of them like P uh, this for speed uh, for fire when I check it's F uh, then for, for engineers post from uh, buildings to collapse it's D from damage crime I never used it problems I never used. water yes I'm using it to see if I have uh, water coverage in some area so I'm using some of them but uh, you you will find all the hotkeys here for uh, whoever is interested uh, again I will this I will uh, put all the links in the in the description below let's continue uh, yeah I, I found uh, well for for beginners it's helpful right here uh, i will link this one uh, i was looking for that one I didn't know exactly that the link but i i knew there is a link so here you have the cities right that you have to build in caesar 3 uh, so it will uh, it will display the information for both uh, peaceful and for military campaigns right so let's take out this one if we go now uh, let's put right click to open in another tab and go here for military walkthroughs so we have all the cities in both peaceful and military uh, campaigns so uh, again right click to to keep uh, the original one right click and for capra it will display here targets 2.5 culture prosperity peace favor and uh, just like an overview of, of what uh, you can build and uh, here they will also tell you if uh, uh, caesar will ask some goods and you see the level begins and then in uh, like two years time 
emperor will request 10 oil then another request from him for 15 oil so you know that when you will build capua uh, you got to keep in mind that uh, in two years time from when the game starts when that level starts emperor will have requests for oil so uh, you you have to deliver useful links again uh, right 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 so capua let's take capua out and here we have the peaceful walkthroughs and military walkthroughs these are the ones uh, right that i advise uh, beginners to to keep until you get used right with uh, with buildings and so on and when you build uh, obviously some levels of housing you know you know you you will have a feel how many you will need and so on now it's up to you if you want to build uh, like i said like a pro so to have everything uh, like uh, uh, everybody to work in your city and not overpopulation you know all, all these uh, type of things okay so let's go back to our game because it was a pretty big intro but i wanted to explain you know some things to make it uh, a little bit easier to understand so let's start a new career uh, we go to end and let's put here k continue let your governorial training begin first you must learn the basics of constructing roman settlements okay hmm. build areas of housing and you'll soon see people move into your city you can click and drag the mouse to build lengths of path at once plan paths carefully with as few intersections as possible to ensure people will walk where you want them to every intersection walkers must choose which way to go each intersection lessens your control over their actual route very good point so also read these objectives right because uh, there are some useful information in it so you want to build a block without too many intersections when you have too many intersection again uh, a walker will choose a path and you might find yourself that if you build too many intersections uh, for example uh, one guy from the fire or from the prefecture the one that have to prevent the fire will not walk a certain path and those houses or whatever building is there uh, will, will set on fire or the same for engineer will collapse if uh, it will not have coverage so you want to build without uh, too many or no if possible intersection uh, right uh, a loop like a straight road or like a, a rectangle i will show it to you so let's go to our city and uh, let's uh, speed down right with uh, those keys the straight accolades that i showed right uh, to be able to build obviously we use the shovel so here we have uh, clear land you see when you hover the mouse over it it will tell you we gotta make room man for our uh, workers well future workers uh, population to move in okay a small pause what uh, how i like to build though uh, i like to leave some space between them right uh, because uh, things some things will set on fire and if uh, you know like in real life if buildings are close to each other the risk of uh, spreading the fire is quite high if there is a gap between two buildings then yeah that fire will be contained within a certain area and will not spread as easy to to the neighborhood right okay let's take away the the space so i like to build in like this formula four by four and now leave a space of two because you know most of the buildings they are two by two so one two one two so two by two so i like to build that way right to have a two uh, space between them because like that later on i can build uh, you know whatever buildings like school libraries uh, temples okay now another thing to make this one not the entire length i will just uh, you know destroy the roads in each of these uh, ends right and now these walkers the future walkers will stay only in this road so will not go full length now let's speed up and wait for them to move in slow down give them wells you see until you give them uh, wells they are only small 
tense. Then read this already of the grammar person. Okay, we know that. We don't have that one. Uh, interpret the, 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 the placing guard. We don't have that one yet, but we can give them, uh, you know, well, water. Uh, let's take away this one. Water, 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 water. Okay. And now they are large tent. You see, this house gonna be it needs to play of food since in this starting level we don't have access to the food, nothing that we can do. So oh okay, they evolved to the level now small shack and nearby buildings have a determined effect. So placing the uh, garden statues again, we don't have access to those, uh, and we have the first event, first fire in in each in which it will teach you right you will need a prefecture adjacent to a road so to have access to a road to start and patrol and uh, again go to the walkers uh, that first link and uh, what what they say the shortest patrol or tiles uh, length for uh, these prefectures are 26 but uh, again in some occasions it's even lower like 22 so well, again for like super stability i advise to build you know uh let's say 20 20 to 23 uh, to build loops uh, no longer than 46 tiles again that's me you can test yourself obviously and uh, you know build however you think is better it's best for you okay so the first fire right we have the first event another great i know so let's slow down a little bit and place a prefecture in each end right it will uh, it will take the workers right it will travel you see whenever they have flags on it it's working now slow down destroy this one and rebuild one house there and all four of them now you see what uh, why i wanted to build with a gap between them because if those houses were next to each other all of them eventually would have set on fire or in anyway more than these four five uh how many they they set on fire okay now it will need some maintenance you see first collapse because buildings they need also maintenance right to rent these buildings you said be an engineer post uh, now now available so they uh, they told us okay again let's reduce the speed uh, let's build here one engineer's post one engineer's post there okay building the same they will go and seek for workers and when they will find workers available then they will get staffed you see we have flags they are getting staffed oh man so many of them collapsed actually i didn't expect uh, this disaster anyway let's rebuild right let's rebuild one two like this and two more uh one two uh one two okay we can also build uh an decision government structure so let's make room because this is a quite high uh i mean it's take up quite some space so we have a senate built right here senate senate and here we, we see the unemployment without you know checking the other stuff unemployment now all of a sudden and uh since now our city needs more development pleasing the gods Tell us your city are religious and like uh, temples near the housing you must dedicate every temple to one of uh, of five gods venus goddess of love mercury god of transport okay and commerce so mercury mars god of war ceres goddess of farming neptune gods of the sea okay so let's build slow down uh, we have now here we find it so you see moving to this uh, where it says religious structures and we build small temple to Ceres that's why I left that space small temple to Neptune small temple to Mercury small temple to Mars let's please all the gods and small temple to Venus okay and voila winning the mission this was the first one so we build uh, the Senate in which we could check the unemployment. Uh, we learn to build the prefecture, the engineer's post. So prefecture for fire prevention, engineer's post for uh, preventing buildings collapsing and also uh, temples, right? 
to educate these people, I mean religious people, to have places where to worship their God. So let's accept the promotion and head over to the next one in which uh, they will give us access to more uh, stuff. Okay, it's, uh, uh, it is bugged, I don't know, sometimes it happens like this. We go to the next city. Okay, let, let me start it again. So, uh, I, will, I will save this game uh, here. Uh, save game. Uh, this is Brundisium. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Brundisium, uh, save again, Brundisium. Brundisium, okay, let's, uh, let's now stop the game and start it again. Hopefully it won't get, uh, you know, bugged. I don't know why, sometimes it does that. So let's start the game again. Uh, load saved game, we go to Brundisium and load the map okay let's see your priorities should be security housing food and water in that order are uh, you see what i was talking now it's working fine immigrants will not move into your city. city yes rome now wishes your city to grow food so we have access to food a farm on fertile land look for the yellow tufts that indicate this so this one connect it to housing with a path if the housing is too far away the farm will not get access Okay. Build a granary near to the farm and make sure that it too has access to labor. When the wheat is ripe, a cart will carry it to the granary. Gradually, the granary will fill up. The fewer empty windows you can see, the fuller the granary is. Okay. And well, sh should have continued. Then uh, you have to build markets that. Uh, I build a market fairly near to your granaries. You want the market to um, to have easy and short access, the, the shortest way possible access to the granaries, so it can take up uh, the food really fast and also deliver it to your houses fast enough. So if you build, for example, markets in one side of the, the map and the granary in the other side of the map, uh, imagine the time lost until the market, uh, the market ladies reaching uh, will reach the, the granary to take the food and then go back and then uh, to make another, uh, you know, loop, uh, another walk to deliver all the goods and then repeat. <laughs> it's not efficient at all. So you want the markets to build to be built as close as possible uh, to the granaries and not only also as close as possible to the warehouses when you can uh, you know stock uh, your your goods like potteries like furniture later in the game they will also be introduced and you will see so yeah they tell us about the markets uh, after they will take uh, the food from the granaries they will start to uh, deliver to the houses so let's go to our city let's make a pause and analyze the map now another thing another thing that i want to talk about it, it's not telling you uh, from the info uh, in the maps in the game. I have read myself. I didn't know it. So uh, there are three types of maps, right? Northern uh, maps on northern provinces, maps on central provinces, and on southern, which is desert, completely desert. You recognize easy the desert ones. They have also zebras, and it's desert. It's it's easy. And uh, uh, the central and northern provinces both uh, look alike. I mean, they are on grass, so green stuff. Uh, but there is a difference, right? In northern provinces, you have wolves, right? And in central provinces, you have sheep on map. You don't have those in northern provinces, no sheep. You have, uh, again, you have wolves. In northern provinces no sheep while in central provinces you have sheep now uh, why i'm saying this uh, there is a difference and uh, the difference is in farms wheat farms more specifically so wheat farms in northern provinces can feed the same number of population like other uh, farms you have wheat farms fruit 
vegetables uh, well pigs right that will, will be for meat so all of these can feed so one farm can feed 160 population 160 right in uh, in central and southern provinces right the farm the wheat farm can feed double the population compared to the all the other types of farms so that's the only difference but it's an important one because for example in a in a in a central province if you need in total uh, like eight farms right four for example for fruits and four for wheat to be even uh, actually you will build only two farms for wheat because again one farm of wheat can feed double the population so, so 320 instead of 160 uh, it, it's a it's a it's an important one because yeah uh, farms will require 10 uh, employees and if you are short with them right you don't have to build like overbuild stuff to have like overflow right again you you will do some some simple math again i'm not doing math for everything but food it's one important one of the important stuff that i'm i'm doing the math so yeah one uh, it was one note this though it's a normal province i mean it's a it's a uh, it's a central one in which we will need also wheat uh, we will need prefecture and uh, we will also need engineers post okay now we have a few things here not available yet uh, but it will give us access to uh, the empire since uh, uh, it, we will have access to the trade but for now we have our objectives uh, we also don't have this one available yet so the objective is 650 population okay that that that, that is what we have to do 650 population okay 650 population so we have access to let's see farms wheat farm so one type of food one type of food if we go back now and uh, go to the links that i i said i will uh, put them in the description below so here with one food type and uh, access to uh, temple of god we can evolve to at least large uh, shack but in this level we will also be introduced to clean water supply so they can evolve to small hovel and uh, and even large uh, hovel and we will also be able to build schools uh, bath houses and uh, to give them pottery i believe so uh, we can actually uh, make them in large casas guys uh, I'm, I'm not sure if small insulin so large casa let's see large casa it's a one by one and they can fit 19 population 19 so 650 divided by 19 we need 36 if we group if we if we group them in uh, you know two by two like squares that means two by two it means four in total so let's say 34 let's say 36 a round number 36 divided by four we need nine uh, two by twos okay so simple math man simple math nine of them righty right now from these ones you can rotate the the map like counterclockwise you see it or clockwise to have a, a better view if for example one building uh, it's in the way uh, and you want to build something beyond that building you don't see what's there you can rotate the map and you have a uh, full view of what's behind that building basically okay too much talking man let's build so let's clear some land again uh, try to try to build it uh, as efficient as possible right we have the farming the farms we can build it here because we know that wherever we have these uh, yellowish over the grass it's a, a more fertile land so you see here for example if i want to build it it doesn't allow me because it's not good and here i can already build okay now uh, i can build uh, well a few a few farms to make it more efficiently right i will give now one example I like to build uh, again it's one example 
to see you know how to think and build in a proper way uh, let's say you want to build four farms right and you build them like these farms wheat uh, with access here one uh, let's let me take the post one two three four right then you, you need road access to them so you will build like this you see already this one is quite a long road and this is a three by three so you have three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen tiles already for a prefect or an engineer's post right to cover this area this is just an example again while uh, you can build the same number of farms but in uh, in a better and more efficient way so let's speed up the things now slow down farm of wheat so we built the wheat farms let, let's say starting from here uh, or from here yeah we can build from here one two and now leave a space between them for a road and you build the road between them and with only one two three four five six seven tiles all four of them you don't need 18 tiles only seven tiles so it's almost three times less uh, the travel for uh, the prefect or the engineer post or both of them so it's more efficient that's why I, i'm saying you know that uh, try to think how to build in in a better way more efficient way not wasting space not wasting time for uh, the workers and so on and also if the if the road would have been like this imagine uh, it's a pretty long walk for this farm uh, boy to deliver right uh, on this road to deliver the goods to the granary if i build a granary here right it's, it's another example so let's say we build the granary there you see just like 10 11 tiles and all four farms can deliver the goods while if it was like in a almost in a circle or around the farms this poor guy should have traveled a long way to drop the food to the granary there are there are some examples another another thing to note here you don't have we don't have access to uh, gatehouses right and a gatehouse can make uh, uh, you know random walkers uh, to stay contained in a loop and i will give some more examples right so let's say we have here right this one it's a loop it doesn't matter it's an example if i build uh, if i build here a prefect let, let's put some houses so examples let's put some houses uh, prefecture and engineer's post right we have like this like that so they will stay inside this loop they will not go out random walkers there are two type of walkers you will read there it's uh, random walkers and destination walkers now if i'm building a market that market ladies uh, ladies will try to look for uh, either a warehouse or a granary from where to pick up uh, the goods right if i have now let's build another loop one two three let's build another loop over here uh, again this is an example right and uh, say uh, i have a few more houses let's uh, wait for people to move in again we build prefecture and engineers post we don't want things to get uh, to set on fire so engineers post they will come by by the way and uh, let's move them fast like this okay so we have workers for everything market ladies we have five out of five uh, these are also staffed so we build the granary here right again it's an example we, we build the granary here later you have the option uh, in more advanced levels to build from this where you build the prefecture a gatehouse a gatehouse will connect two blocks right like through a gate that's why it's called a gatehouse and destination walkers like market ladies can travel through the gate right to go to the desired building to go to the granary and take up uh, take the food then go back to the market and deliver to the block the random walkers 
like the ones from uh, prefectures, from engineers' posts, from doctors, from uh, uh, barbers, from schools, uh, right? They cannot go. Those are random walkers, not destination. Destination means, uh, right, that, okay, I have a market. Uh, they need a place from where to take uh, the goods. And if they have a place to go, that means they have a destination to go, right? So they will go through the gates. Uh, so it, it's an important one. It's an important one uh, to think of. Now, it's a, it's a small trick that we can use, right, to connect these two blocks even without, uh, without a gatehouse. Okay, we have, and people also ask me about this one. So bear with me, guys. I'm not a native speaking, uh, you know, native speaking uh, English or, or English speaker. So I'm trying to explain to my best uh, way possible, so everybody to understand it. But yeah, sometimes maybe I'm talking too long. I don't know. Uh, right. So uh, how it behaves this granary, and uh, it's an important one because later on you might uh, have to build, you know, in such a way that you will actually use the granaries to have access to two uh, to two loops and i will explain it a granary in the middle so if i build let's let's clear some area uh here if i build a granary uh here if i build a granary here right uh, they have access in four directions in each of these uh you know points there is an entry and uh, also it can be uh, well entry and exit so every uh, in the middle of this one uh, it's an uh, entry and uh, exit point so the granary it's inside it's like an intersection so like this right we have four points entries and exits so they can go in and out from uh, like in that in that direction so it behaves like an intersection inside so should be an easy way let's put here those some farms and i will explain i will show you how so we have two farms that uh, will grow uh, crops and will deliver two but you see the market ladies cannot travel and take the food because they don't have access to this uh, to this block no road man no road so they gotta have a sort of uh, a sort of uh, path to go to the granary so you see this one is getting filled providing that's good is getting filled right with uh, crops since uh, the farms are working but the market ladies cannot access that block so you can build now the granary like this like i said because remember in the middle here they have access they have access so if you build it like this i will make a pause and put a fire and I will explain fire F is from fire so you will see the prefectures uh, uh, going for their walks and uh, taking care of buildings not to set on fire if I use D you will see for damage for the engineers post you see then F for fire so we have here like I said uh, these granaries it doesn't show here but it behaves like an interest like a cross now with this granary the market ladies which is, this is the market ladies can go through here the middle and access now the other granary which has food and you will see the market ladies doing exactly that let's take away the space look at the market ladies now you see it goes like this and it will start to feed the guys in the block I mean in this loop it will start to give them the goods guys and they will evolve they are not evolving because I didn't give them water if I build now a, a well it was an example if I build the well they have now food and they can grow man you see now they need a temple I build a temple it's just an example again it's just an example I build a temple and they're growing they're asking now for clean water supply well desirability desirability i think not yet here uh, okay we don't have yet access uh, it will give us access to gardens then statues in which we can beautify the area but 
uh, I will start it again. It was an example how to build and uh, connect to blocks, right, using a granary. So not necessarily you, you got to have a gatehouse. Gatehouse also has a uh, uh, desirability factor, negative desirability factor, like a granary. Houses nearby these buildings will need some sort of uh, beautification to counter, uh, right, uh, the, the negative effect of those buildings like uh, gardens, statues, uh, oracles later on. Okay, so let's start again this mission. Replay map. Let's go to that map again. So we need 650 and I said we need nine of those, right? Nine of those. 650. Uh, nine four by four. Yeah, okay. So let's clear some map. We have farms that will be here. There are three long, so one, two, three. Okay, this is the road that will connect those farms. Okay, I'm building now the granary will be here or oh, somewhere here. Okay, so my block is going to have how many? Let's build it not uh, again uh, try to build it not that big so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh fifteen fifteen times two forty yeah fifteen with one two three four five five in between not like this if you don't want something if you build something that you want to cancel it you just uh, you, uh, press this undo and uh, it will not take you the cash right out from it okay so this is the first block like i said i want four uh or nine four by four excuse me not four nine four by fours so i'll have my granary which is going to be here and like i said i will use this one to behave to connect the two blocks so this road right should be in the middle like this and if i uh, turn around you will see that it's in the middle it's in the middle okay right let's uh, bring some uh, workers inside so let's build here uh, okay this is one two three four five six seven eight now seven and here one two let's build here eight and why do i build this one over here you will see why because i'm i'm thinking you know how to build this one to make it uh, more efficiently and uh now i will build okay let's take out the pause i will build this one like this and like that you see like this and like that okay all right like this all right all right like that okay now how many tiles is here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so the engineers posts and the prefectures will have no problems to cover all this road so risk of fire will be virtually zero no risk of fire okay uh, let me build here another house and i will tell you why no uh, actually uh, i will explain it while uh, i'll have to build it i will build it right we will need for a starter some wells because we don't want people to get thirsty obviously so well 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 okay people are starting to move in like i said we need prefecture so let's build a prefecture and an engineer's post. Where to build it? Uh, one, one, two. Okay, one here, and the engineer's post will be here. I'm leaving one tile between the houses in the middle. So later on to build, you know, some gardens between, uh, right, this uh, row of houses for beautification. And now uh, these guys will stay inside this block. Now I need also prevention of fire and uh, damage building in this road where I will have the farms. So I'm building now prefecture here and engineers post. Boom, like that. Okay, so let's speed up the things a little bit. Right now, 
I can build farms like I said already and let's uh, start with uh, wheat farms two of them you see that's the beauty of it it's not a long one I'll have some food going in now since I have some food in the granary it's time to build the markets and like I said now the market ladies can go through the middle here of this gallery and access this road the external road one thing though let's build temples because the gods will be unhappy if we don't build them so one for each god uh, neptune small temple to mercury small temple to mars and small temple to venus okay we have for all of them right yeah we have for all of them ah and now since we have well uh, all these basic stuff it gives us uh, access to clean water supply so we need for this one a reservoir and then to build fountains now one thing to note in desert maps uh, a fountain has a range of three tiles so houses uh, within a three tile range from the fountain will have access to that fountain right while in uh, central and northern provinces it's four tiles right and you you, you see it here so build a, uh, a a reservoir then a fountain uh, within okay I, I will tell you uh, for a fountain to have to, to to have access right to the reservoir so not to be too far away it, it, it's got to stay within a 10 tiles away from that uh, reservoir and I will show it to you uh, how it is okay so like I said let's build now because they are requesting fresh water supply so we want a reservoir over here and we connect it with aqueducts okay here and let's put it reservoir right here no not right there okay let's disconnect a little bit here so reservoir 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 okay we put it here seems to be in the middle now aqueduct we connected like this and let's cut a few more holes if for example uh, you build uh, you build the aqueduct from one side to the other side and will not leave a path for these people to move in uh, basically you will block the way to Rome and uh, the, the game right itself automatically will de destroy all the structures that are in the way of uh, these guys to go through the Rome this is the way to Rome so keep in mind keep that uh, keep that way open that road open access open otherwise it will destroy whatever building is there so yeah we build these houses well uh, the rows not houses right uh, we cut some holes and they can go through them right and uh, basically access the houses okay we don't need now these wells anymore so let's delete the wells like this like this like this and we built now fountains so we have a fountain over here over here we have another fountain over here and with fountain so clean water supply you will see these houses evolving uh, more past the level and now they are small hovel and this house cannot evolve as there is no entertainment to be found in the location so we will have access to entertainment anytime soon uh, do we have uh, beautification not yet we don't have yet beautification oh growing your city it just gives us access now we can build even more buildings bath houses needs to be in range of a reservoir and have access to labor so uh, be close to a road to uh, to take the workers from uh, from wherever possible then gardens make an, uh, an area more desirable okay let's uh, slow down by the way you can access all the messages if you normal click on view messages and normal click on uh, the message itself so gardens make the area more desirable all right so let's make uh, more desirability in the area we will build now gardens in the middle in between them 
okay and with beautification you see all of them now they evolve to the level that uh, uh, well still having a detrimental effect but we will build a few more a uh, few more gardens we can build obviously now we have access to entertainment structures guys theater in one side uh, one side one side one side uh, let's put it here yeah sure here and we have actor colony on the other side right so let's build like this uh, these guys will go and will uh, deliver whatever the shows and will return back why did i build this one uh, in this uh, you know 15 by 5 that means we have a 40 tile uh, loop so in a 40 tile loop remember that the shortest walk it's guaranteed to be 23 22 or 23 so 22 uh, i mean 40 uh, tiles uh, in half it's like 20 so actually the workers uh, the stuff right from the the theater will walk more than half of the loop so to return back it will not choose the same path in which uh, he went to that building it will choose the shortest path back to its building and in our case since the shortest path, uh, path is now uh, to go to come back to the building on the other side basically we kind of force right to uh, to make a full uh, you know round of loop if you know if you know what i mean i'm pretty sure that you know what i mean i don't know how to explain again my english is just simply basic uh, okay, so like I said, these guys are sending uh, the the entertainment the entertainers more than half of the loop, and the shortest distance back to its building, it's actually to complete all the loop because now it's 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 less tiles than to return to the same area because on on the returning path they will choose again the shortest way possible. Now, keep an eye on the food. These guys are eating quite a lot, so we will need more than two farms. It's time to build another farm of wheat. So let's put it uh, here. I'm leaving here a corner because you will see why. So let's build there. It's a third one. So here I have access to another, uh, you know, stuff to, to build, touching the corner. So another one. Now, if we right click on these buildings, they say they are large hovel uh, and to evolve, uh, it needs access to educational facilities like a school or a library so let's build these guys you see here education structures a school so let's put it in the middle let's put it in the middle shall we where where here where okay let's put it there no problem and they will evolve they will evolve you look at this blessing from series thank you so much now taxes and industry since we deliver what they requested uh, it will give us access to even more buildings money building and running cities cost money yeah rome gives you enough dinner to get started but uh, it won't be enough to complete your assignment taxes are important so yeah ta ta uh, taxation and the higher level of, of houses i took this in the beginning uh more income you will have and also industry because you will have access to goods that you can uh, so yeah taxing the people nicer houses pay more in taxes you see this uh, uh shack or whatever pays some cash while the higher uh, level of housing pay more taxes and we can look at this in, in, in advisor right like this click the advisor button to consult the helpful aids to help you maintain your city the chief advisor summarizes so you see here industry uh, we have now access to industry now build a clay pit close to water and a warehouse nearby connect them to housing as usual and before long a cart will take clay to the warehouse ah, you can also build a pottery workshop to turn clay into pottery when the pottery is ready a cart takes it to the nearest warehouse from their market traders will take it uh, if there is demand for it in your town and it is uh, okay and distribute it just as they do with the food higher level housing demands pottery 
build two pottery workshops uh, to use all of the clay your clay pit can, can produce so one clay pit uh, can deliver uh, right clay for two uh, workshops keep in mind this ratio the same is for furniture the same is for wine uh, for oil uh, for uh, for weapons so yeah two to one right or one to two let's slow down and if we right click they say uh, this guy's gonna uh, ah bathhouse i didn't build my bad but if we consulted man we will see everything right there so we built a bathhouse with access here i mean really close in, within the range of uh, of uh, the reservoir and you can check with w so here uh, the water reaches up until here right uh, thanks to the fountain but again like i said a fountain don't build a fountain more than 10 tiles away from uh, the reservoir because like that it, it won't have access to that one and i will show it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and 11th it's gone so stay within 10 tiles from the uh from the reservoir okay these guys eh, you can see now with this functioning they are evolving and these guys are asking for pottery now in order to evolve past this level all right now we need here another block another small block one two so let's build here like four houses and make another loop like this okay and we need pottery one two a pottery is two by two by the way so i'm not building like a large uh, you know block something like this remember that we we will also need uh, here prefecture and engineers post okay and they will stay inside this loop okay we have now workers now for beautification i will place more gardens because we want them to eh, and they evolved okay past that level right they said let's build here raw materials uh clay pits let's build two clay pits actually i can put uh, i can click on the advisor uh, your advisors and we see culture it's already 70 prosperity it, it got a rise favor uh, no demands peace we will go there target 650 we have 501 and uh labor here visit your labor advisor we have 92 unemployed workforce so we can build the easy here raw materials clay pit let's build two of them and let's build now workshops of pottery one two three and four and in case i want to i can build another one right here that's why i'm leaving a space of two now uh, these uh, you know clay pits will deliver uh, the goods to the pottery makers and then uh, we will build here a warehouse okay a warehouse warehouse where okay let's put it here and they will deliver the potteries to uh, this one this one warehouse all righty right uh no not there and i will tell you why because i will show you uh, two things that you can do so let's put the warehouse over there and again i will i will tell you why exactly so yeah uh, they will take the workers you see and they will deliver all the goods once market ladies will have access to the pot but let's try to beautificate the area slightly more over here for these houses in order to evolve even more like this and yeah we have them they want now pottery so we beautificate the area uh, the same goes for these guys prefecture they don't like the prefectures over there so let's build a few more gardens now they evolved okay uh, these guys are working you see they have 10 out of 10 employees the same with these ones 10 out of 10 and if we check trade with the empire now that we have pottery uh, it let us trade with the empire so we have 31 unemployed workforce okay uh, we can click on the empire map and we have a city capua that are buying the pottery they buy also weapons and they buy uh, wheat so we can sell wheat but me uh, this is a personal preference whenever i uh, i have uh, anything else to sell i avoid selling food it doesn't matter if i have enough or not i don't sell food 
the prices are not that high and we can check the prices by the way for but for now let's open the trade with capwa and uh, now in the trade advisor we put it here trading and let's export over four units uh, four we will keep for our city okay so keep in mind because we we need also for our houses we don't want to sell everything and when we need it our city needs it uh, we don't have it uh, uh, anymore because we, we, we sold everything you got the idea all right so you can uh, you can check the prices here show prices and you see uh, for wheat uh, it's uh, they pay 28 I get 22 so it's not worth it that's why it's better to sell uh, you know like uh, expensive stuff weapons it's uh, the most expensive one uh, they pay 250 and I get 180 furniture is also expensive pottery 180 and I got 140 uh, so you got the idea the same with uh, marble 200 but I don't have access now you can check here oil it's another pretty expensive one so yeah it's not worth uh, uh, to sell the food so uh, the other goods yes whenever I can uh, uh, I can sell the goods I do that uh, for, for example now I can import uh, for example iron and uh, produce weapons to sell them because I pay 60 and I sell uh, with 250 but I get 180 so three times more than what I pay it's obviously worth it right but we are fine man with only pottery we should be fine now let's speed things up a little bit and uh, whenever we'll have over four they will start to buy things from us and uh, you see and we we make cash man now we make cash now uh, like i said when i give the example uh, in this house the market ladies cannot access this warehouse right because no gatehouse that they can go through here so we can now use another very useful uh, stuff and i will explain it i will show it and explain it that's why i left here one corner to build a warehouse here a warehouse no first let, let's do let's do a save here it, it, it's best so brundisium one okay brundisium one so there are two ways in which we can make the market ladies uh, have access to the pottery we can build a warehouse over here and we use the get technique so right click on the warehouse special orders and here click until you see it's getting goods and the other we don't accept anything but pottery so when you when you set the warehouse to get goods it doesn't matter that's the the thing with the warehouses it doesn't matter that these two are not connected uh, cart pushers from this uh, you know get uh, get stuff they will send a cart pusher to get the potteries and bring it over to this warehouse in which the market ladies through this uh, granary will have access will take the pottery and will start to dis distribute it to the block wait and see so yep the cart pushers the cart eh, they already went there and brought us pottery and now the market ladies they came they took and now we have large casa guys large casa better uh, higher level of housing so explaining stuff you got the idea explaining stuff eh, you see they are evolving and when they are evolving usually more people want to move in the city now let's check again how many have 26 unemployed force okay we can actually now that we make we made some money we can build another warehouse let's leave a space here so they can go outside and we can put this one to accept both weapons and iron right i will show you and we can uh, go here trade advisor and we can import iron and we can export weapons and since this is not a military campaign we don't need any weapons for our city we will sell everything and we will build here workshops of weapons how many two of them one and let's give a space two of them two 
there you go so oh 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 okay when you have access to more goods we don't want this to get confused let's keep this one only for pottery and this separately because uh, if this uh, warehouse will be overflow with one uh, good or two type of goods then no more space uh, uh, to stock you know what i plan to what i want to and again houses evolving will attract more immigrants so more people will move in now i will have also workers yes they are working uh how many uh, 26 so it's okay 10 percent. i can build yet another workshop of weapons because we have enough we have easily enough and i have weapons these guys will now buy the weapons check it out and see more money aha so they they give us the iron and they buy the weapons so we are getting close to 650 uh these guys are not evolving okay because not beautification so let's build more gardens for these guys more gardens more gardens and now they evolved will attract more people and we will finally win the mission so you see boom victory we have 650 population uh we learned to trade with the empire uh i i explained the granary trick and you can do the granary trick right without building the warehouse to build it here and i will show it right now for now let's accept the promotion we will save the next city and we will come back okay from now on you can choose your career's direction take the more peaceful province to concentrate on gardening or the more dangerous one to confront those enemies all right so let's take the the easy one uh Kappa, which is a peaceful province let's do the save uh, we, we will we will go into that one when we will need to for now let's slow down and save we will put this one capua okay capua capua now let's go back and load the game brundisium one the one that we saved uh, prior to uh, the trick with the warehouse with the get goods right so uh, we have now we can build another granary like i like i showed you guys earlier uh, let's put it uh, two times away from these two houses because otherwise you know the beautification will kick in now to connect it we need uh, a road to the middle of this granary so let's build like that like a slightly larger uh, you know loop but still uh, right uh, to have access and look at the market ladies already went uh, to go for the potteries to deliver and these houses are already evolving it's what I uh, what I said so either a warehouse with get technique or a granary later on we will have access to the uh, gate uh, to the gatehouses so don't need to build the granaries right to connect the, the loops but in some missions right you you connect different loops with the granaries actually where you need like a lot of farms right you build granaries in the way that uh, you have access from one loop to another one and you will see it in action i mean it's, it's a very good one you don't necessarily need uh, everywhere gatehouses right so let's build again a warehouse uh, here and in this one now we are setting to accept both iron and uh, weapons right and let's not forget this time uh, to keep this one only for pottery right and let's build now uh, workshops of weapons how many one two three of weapons there we go man and oh, okay we have to go here though to the trade advisor let's import iron and let's sell all the weapons okay you can you can set here how many to sell and since again we don't need to uh, to keep it for our city we can sell all the weapons that we can produce employees need it well more are coming because these houses are evolving so more uh, more employees are coming right so we have now iron going in uh, this will start to work they have already 10 uh, uh, employees 
yeah it's it's looking good i like it 602 uh i want to sell you know some weapons we have weapons we are selling yep we sold the weapons now uh let's win the mission so let's beautify the area in order for these small casas to evolve to large casas like these guys and with 650 because like i said when you evolve the houses it will attract more immigrants and basically you will we will win the mission so let's build here let's build here let's build here everywhere and now they are uh they are large casas everywhere and even here i can build it like this let's give time in the meantime these guys will buy more weapons hopefully yep and things are looking good 648 and win the mission this is the second way how to uh you know uh, win it so connect the loops different loops one to another one well in some cities uh, you will kind of be forced to use the get technique with the warehouses but personally whenever i can connect those even if it's quite a long road i like to connect uh, you know the the warehouses because through a road uh, they have better uh, delivery from what i from what i you know build i test and uh, i i observed myself sometimes uh, you know if the if the distance is uh, quite long or if you also sell uh, some goods that are uh, you also need it for you also need for your city uh, I, I, I didn't like it sometimes i just ran out of uh, you know one good supply and uh, i didn't it didn't happen when uh, those uh, you know loops or blocks they were connected to a road even though again the road was quite longer but again you guys can use uh, either of these techniques right so feel free man feel free but plan plan ahead you look at the map uh, you have the number the target population uh, by what you can do, give to the uh, goods and food what you can uh, you know give to the houses you know the level uh, which they can reach so you you can do the math the basic math okay i will have large casas and like i said i need it nine four by four and that's it winning the mission boom it's easy if you have to build uh, like i said earlier then uh, grand insulates that's 84 so for 650 you you would have need less than that uh, you, again you you do the math like uh, eight or something all right this was not necessarily a lesson you know the first video in which i explained some stuff i don't want to, to make this like very very long it's already uh, close to one and a half hours one one hour and something like 15 or 20 minutes minutes so uh, smaller part i will continue with uh, more uh, tips more tricks uh, the you know the in the next uh, cities that uh, i will build from this one so guys hope that uh, you enjoy it so far and if you have more questions let me know in the comments down below man and i will try to answer again to my best uh, knowledge i'm not a pro not aiming to be a pro i love the game i learned you know some things by reading stuff and since uh, quite a lot of people were asking me about some of these uh, you know knowledges informations why not uh, to share in a few videos one two three well at least two two three four videos let's see how many uh, it will require for now bye bye guys and see you soon with part two let's call it part two